so we just had a quick look at color grading um, and I think I'm going to jump back over to curves now. So we tried basic, we tried color mixer, we tried color grading. Let's come over to curves. What do curves do? Well, it's another way of controlling the tonal range, actually, of your image. Um, and it's you can do it in two ways. I've always gotten on far, far, far better with not the parametric curve, which is the default, but the point curve. So I am going to suggest that you, rather than having this parametric curve here, click over to the point curve. Now, the point curve gives us a line that allows us to control the dynamic range of the image. And up in the top right hand corner here, that's your highlights. And down in the bottom left hand corner, that is your uh, shadows. Um, before I even start adding additional points to the line, I can do a lot, and I mean a lot, by pulling these sliders around. If I pull the shadows right up there, I've basically got nothing but white, and if I pull the shadows, um, the highlights down there, I've basically got nothing but black, and obviously that's no good, but even small changes here. So, I might just bring up my um, shadows. So what I'm actually doing is I'm making the darkest shadows a little bit lighter. I'm limiting how much shadow we can actually have in the image. Just a bit like this. Why would you do that? Well, we can get that kind of softened, slightly film-like feel quite easily that way. What I need to do, though, is add some other points. and. I'll add one more point here by clicking on that line and I'll start to bring this down a bit um, to create that curve. That's why it's called curve. I can also add another point here to bring my midtones back up a little bit. So what I've done is I've just sort of added a little bit more of that kind of slightly flattened low end like you see in film. Uh, here it is without it, here it is with it. It's just, again, it's a subtle change. I'm not expecting you to leap out your seats and think, my God, how did he ever achieve such a random and radical change to a photograph? Um, I'm just exploring subtlety. Now there are actually curves that you can use for red, green and blue, but I'm not going to suggest doing that for now because we've already mucked around with uh, color grading. Um, and color grading is probably a slightly easier way to adjust colors than using curves. So this is interesting because those good old eyes, I'm going back and I'm looking at my basic and i feel like i've pushed my contrast and my saturation a little bit too much i feel like i want to take that texture off maybe take that clarity off maybe wing those shadows down a bit those blacks a little bit ease off those highlights a bit because it was starting to feel just a bit too contrasty for me yeah, that's nice. Turn basic off, turn basic on. Yeah, I'm feeling that, feeling that. So as you edit in RAW, you will spend time going back and checking what you're doing and trying to make sure that it isn't too heavy. Really important to be aware that you can make any change anytime you want. The eyes here are so useful in terms of seeing what the image was like before and without. Um, and I'd really, really recommend turning those eyes on and off and also coming back with fresh eyes, moving away from the computer, coming back and having a look and seeing if you still feel that it works.